The universe is a big place, we don't know very much about it. What we do know, however, is that it can get pretty weird. Don't take my word for it though. Here are 10 interesting facts about space you probably didn't know. I want to test you to see how much you know about space. Choose the right answer. What happened to astronauts when they go to space? A. They shrink in space or B. They become taller in space. If you chose B, you're right. Without gravity, the vertebrae will naturally expand slightly. As gravity is not pushing you down, causing a person to become taller. However, this growth is minor and temporary. Typically, astronauts in space can grow up to 3% of their original height, but no more than that. Number 2 Look at this picture and tell me, which planet do you think is the hottest in our solar system? If you said Mercury, you're wrong. Even though Mercury is the planet nearest to the Sun, Venus is actually the hottest. That is because Venus has an extremely dense carbon dioxide atmosphere, which creates the strongest greenhouse effect known to man. Mercury does not have any atmosphere, meaning that this planet is only hot in the daytime, when it is directly facing the Sun. At this stage, temperatures can rise to 425 degrees Celsius, but at night the planet's temperature can drop down to a freezing minus 180 degrees Celsius. Venus is the hottest planet. Its thick clouds trap the sun's heat, causing Venus to be a sizzling 500 degrees Celsius all the time. Number 3. Which statement is true? A. All planets rotate clockwise or B. All planets rotate counterclockwise. If you chose B, you're almost right, because there are some exceptions. Venus and possibly Uranus are the exceptions to the counterclockwise rotations of the planets. Venus travels around the Sun once every 225 Earth days, but it rotates clockwise once every 243 days. This combination gives it a day with respect to the Sun of 117 Earth days. Uranus is tilted on its side about 90 degrees, so its direction of rotation is ambiguous. Its angle of inclination is usually given as 98 degrees, which will mean that its direction of rotation is not retrograde. If its direction of rotation is presumed retrograde, then its angle of inclination will be 92 degrees. Number 4. What does a light year measure? A. Time or B. Distance. For those who chose A are totally wrong. A light year is the distance that light travels during one Earth year. The speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second, which means that this is a very tremendously, amazingly huge distance of over 9.5 trillion kilometers. Number 5. In our solar system, which planet do you think has the largest number of satellites or moons? If you chose Saturn, you're not right, but very close. There are 67 known moons of Jupiter. This gives Jupiter the largest number of moons with reasonable, stable orbits of any planet in the solar system. The planet with the second highest number of moons is Saturn with 61 moons, and Mercury and Venus are the only planets without moons. Number 6. Can we see stars in space? Actually, we can see them better from space than through our thick atmosphere. The stars are there and the astronauts can see them if they look away from the sun. The reason that the stars do not show up on the film and pictures is that the stars are so dim that the camera cannot gather enough of their light in a short exposure. Our eyes are a lot more sensitive to light than photographic film. And why is our sky blue? When light from the sun enters our atmosphere, it collides with molecules in the air. The blue part of the light gets scattered more than the other parts during this collision and thus makes the sky appear to our eyes as blue. Number 7. What do you think happens to humans when exposed to space? A. Their head will explode. B. They die because there is no oxygen. Or C. Their blood begins to boil. B and C are the correct answers. 
Amazingly, humans can survive in space unprotected for a short time. A human without a spacesuit can survive the rigors of vacuum for around 30 seconds to a minute conscious and several more minutes blacked out if the rescue came in time. One of the first things that happened with humans and animals exposed to space is that their blood begins to boil. Even though space is super cold, the lack of pressure means that the boiling point of all liquids is much lower. Second, the air in the lungs will expand rapidly, destroying the lungs, which means that a person trying to survive must exhale all the air that is in its lungs prior to being exposed to the vacuum. Number 8. Do stars twinkle? If you say yes, you're right. Any non-twinkling light in our sky are either planets from our system or artificial satellites orbiting Earth. This is because these objects have actual dimensions, so some light always falls on the same place. We can see planets as little disks of light with a sufficiently powerful telescope. Both stars and planets shine steadily when they are seen from the International Space Station. Number 9. For the following question, only the people who watch Star Wars will be able to answer it. In real life, do you believe there are planets that are like Tatooine with two suns? If you say yes, you're right. A circumbinary planet is a planet that orbits two stars instead of one. Because of the short orbits of some binary stars, the only way for planets to form is by forming outside the orbit of two stars. The planet Kepler 1647b is 3700 light years away, which has two suns. The stars are similar to our sun, with one slightly larger than our home star and the other slightly smaller. Planets that orbit two stars are known as Tatooine planets after Luke Skywalker's home world in Star Wars. Number 10. Why we don't go to the moon anymore? The first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong, who flew with Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins on the Apollo 11 rocket. There were 12 people in total that have so far walked on the moon in six different Apollo missions. These astronauts spent a total of 90 hours on the moon in 14 moonwalks. The last man on the moon was Eugene Cernan with the NASA's Apollo 17 mission in December 7, 1972. Apollo 17 is the most recent man moon landing and was the last time humans traveled beyond low Earth orbit. But why is that? The truth is, sending men to the moon in 1969 did not make sense to the majority of Americans in the first place. In 1970, the final three planned Apollo missions that would have been Apollo 18, 19, and 20 were cancelled. Why didn't Apollo even complete its original plan of 10 moon landings? There are some obvious reasons. The Cold War, and with the moon race won, there was little interest in continuing an expensive program of exploration. Lack of money. Congress cut NASA's funding after the six lunar landings in 1972 because the public seemed to have lost interest in the moon and the space race. During the Apollo years, NASA's budget was almost 5% of the federal budget. Now it's less than 1%. There is also a theory that the real reason why we don't go to the moon is because in the past they have discovered alien bases on the moon and UFOs. Now you're just a little bit smarter. I hope you liked this video and did any of these facts stand out to you? Is there some other space stuff that makes you go wow that wasn't in this list? Please leave a comment and let us know. If you love this video, smash the like button and share it with your friends. Follow me on social media and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you won't miss anything. Until the next time.